Hello guys, welcome to Amit Thinks. In this video, we will learn how to install the current MySQL version on Windows 11. We will also install MySQL shell and workbench. With that, we will also create a sample database. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google, type MySQL and press enter. Now the official website will be visible. Click on it. That is mysql.com. Now go to downloads. Click on it. Go below now under downloads. Click on mysql community GPL downloads. Now the community download section is visible. Here and click on mysql installer for windows. Now the download section is visible. Current version is the following. Two versions are visible. Okay, we will go for the second one. This is the complete version 285 MB. And you can also check. And here in 32 bit is visible, but this works for both 32 bit as well as 64 bit OS. Windows OS. Click download. Here and click on no thanks, just start my download. Now the download started. Here it is, let's wait. We have downloaded the installer for MySQL. Right click open. Minimize this. Now the setup will start. The setup started, you need to choose a setup type. Since we want to know what we are installing, go for custom. Click next. Now select the products. Here and go to available products. Click MySQL servers. Click it again. And here it is 8.0.36. Just click here to drag it. It will get dragged here. Okay. Now go to applications. Workbench, drag again, here it is, you can see for x64 that means for 64 bit, click here to drag, now the last one shell and do the same. So we have our three products, this is what we wanted, click next. Now here it is ready to install all three, click execute. Now it will install. We have installed it. Click next. Ready to configure. Click next. Configuration type that is type and networking. The port number is the following. Click next. Authentication method. Use a strong password. Okay, recommended. So you just need to click next here. And here and add the password for root. Root is the admin that is the administrator. So add a password. So create your own password. You can also use my password, okay? And click next. Windows service, keep it as it is, click next. Server file permissions, grant full access. So here your database will get will get saved at this location. Click next. Apply configuration here, click on execute. Apply configuration successful, click finish. Configuration, click next. That's it. It will also open workbench. After I'll click finish. Click finish. Now 
okay now let me click here this open the workbench okay if you want to learn how to work on on mysql workbench you can refer the link in the in the description of this video for a quick tutorial now for the mysql server now go to this pc here go to c drive program files search for mysql here it is open go to server bin and copy this path copy okay minimize go to start type environment variables and click here edit the system environment variables click open under advanced click environment variables now go to system variables under path double click go to new right click and paste the same path ok click ok ok and the last ok now go to start type cmd click open now under command prompt type mysql space hyphen hyphen version press enter this shows that we successfully installed the current version now let us start the server and create a sample database mysql hyphen u that is user remember our user was root hyphen p and press enter this p is for the password now enter the same password which we have set before and press enter now our mysql started ok now let us quickly create a new database now let us first check the databases show databases semicolon and press enter so these are the default databases now let me create a new database using the create space database space the name of the database let's say i'll mention amit db and i'll type semicolon and press enter query okay means we created our new database let us verify with the same command show databases semicolon and press enter here and you can see your database is visible ok now guys you should know the location of this database where it got saved amit db go here go to c drive here and you need to enable hidden items for that on windows 11 go to show hidden items ok now all the hidden items are visible go to program data within that search for mysql here it is open it now mysql server and here it is data this is your amitdb database which you just created ok so here in your database will get saved this is the path so guys if you want to learn more about mysql a free 3 hour tutorial link is mentioned in the description of this video the video is on YouTube itself. Thank you for watching the video.